Hi there. As you can see, Zim is down over 5% today. They reported the results for the third quarter and they weren't that great. But investors are hoping that they will get a nice dividend, as it was in the past. As you can see, according to Yahoo Finance, Zim is paying a dividend over 100%. That's amazing. But this is no longer available. That's why you have to look at their fundamentals, their recent results. So in this video, you'll find the future outlook of Zim, and at the end, its fair value, how much you can expect from this company. Because if shipping rates go up again, then Zim may make some money, they will deliver positive earnings, and they might pay a nice dividend. As you can see, the price to earnings, according to Google, is 0.6. But this data is no longer available. Only the market cap and the price, which is around $7. So let's begin the analysis. You can see in this picture their past performance, which was amazing. They made over 4 billion in profits in 2022 and 2021, and their dividend was quite high, higher than the stock price. As you can see, $27 per share. Now, the future outlook isn't that great. As you can see, the revenue is expected to decline this year from 12 billion to 5 billion for 2023, and their earnings are expected to be with minus. Alas, over 700 million. Plus, as you can see, the market doesn't expect a rebound in their earnings. And also the dividends are expected to be zero for the next years. If you look at the latest results, you can see that the revenue was down over 60%, 61%, their cash flow down over 80%, and their total equity was 2.6 billion, higher than their market cap, which is around 800 million. I'll discuss more about their cash position because they have over 3 billion in cash. And at the current market cap, you might say Zim is a bargain. You can buy this company below the cash on hand. But don't rush, there are some things you have to know. Let's continue. You can see that the carried volume was about the same as it was last year, but the difference is the average trade rate. As you can see, has declined by over 50%, from over 3000 to 1100. And that's why the revenue has declined by over 60%, from 3.2 billion to 1.2 billion. And of course, the net income was with minus, minus 2.2 billion. And their net debt is around 1.6 billion. Last year, the net cash was almost 300 million. So now Zim is doing not that great, because the freight rates have declined a lot from their peak. Plus, as I said, they have 3.1 billion in cash. But be aware that the total debt is over 4 billion, 4.7 billion. So their net debt is around 1.6 billion. Moreover, if you look at their guidance, you can see that they expect for the full year a loss over 600 million. By the way, this is a bit earnings before interest and taxes. So their losses will be higher. And they are saying that the freight rates are not expect to recover from the current level, plus a slight decline in their volume. This means that you can't expect any profits this year. Maybe next year, if the freight rates go higher. But you have to be aware, because they also depend on the charter rates, which are about 1100. So this business was like this. They make about $600 per transport, but they have to pay the charter rates, which are around 1100 And the difference between what they get and what they have to pay is their profit. But don't forget, they also have to pay their expenses, their employees, plus other costs. And what's left is their final profit, their earnings, their net income that you see on their paper. As it was in Q3, a loss over 2.2 billion and the average freight rate was about 1100 now it seems that freight rates are going up a little as you can see they are now 1600 and the charter rates are going down if this trend continues then you may expect better numbers from zim maybe next year that's why you have to look at those metrics 
the prey rates and the charter rates, how they're moving. Moreover, you might want to invest in this company based on their assets, because as you can see, the total assets are over 8 billion and the market cap is below 1 billion, around 800 million. You might say that this is a bargain, but don't forget the liabilities, which are around 5.6 billion, and their assets that you see on their balance sheet, especially their vessels, of around 3.2 billion, are not their assets. How do I know this? Well, if you read their annual report, you can see that they operate a fleet of 150 vessels, and 94% of them are charted or rented, but they are allowed to write those vessels as assets. They have the right to use these assets, and that's why you see them on their balance sheet. But when their contracts end, they have to return these vessels, and their assets will decrease. So you see over around 4 billion in assets, but those are not their ships. They are paying rent for them. That's why you can rely on their assets, even though they have a lot of cash, plus other investments. But don't forget their debt. That's why they said their net debt is over 1 billion, 1.6 billion. They have those lease liabilities that they have to pay. Or better said, this is their rent. Now let's try to see the fair value of Zim. As no earnings are expected in the future, you can value this business based on their earnings. You can try to value this business based on the revenue, especially their future revenue, what the market expects. Now the shipping industry doesn't have a high multiple. If you look at their history, you will see that the multiple is below 1. So the risk, the fair value may be around 800 million, and now the market cap is around 900 million. But you also have to be aware, if freight rates keep going down, then the revenue will be lower, and also the fair value. Now, if shipping rates go up, and the multiple will be higher, then the fair value can be around 3 billion. This is the base case scenario. Maybe they will make a profit, and at the current market cap, you might have a free X from this investment. But don't forget the risk. You can rely on their past performance when they made over 4 billion in earnings. That happened because shipping rates were quite high in 2021. But now they normalized. And I don't think you can expect the same profits. And the normal case where they might succeed to make a profit, not that much, but if they deliver some positive earnings, then the fair value may be around 1.9 billion. So the current level, you may have a double. However, I don't recommend investing in this company because there is a lot of risk. Don't get attracted by their past performance when they made a lot of money. As I said, everything depends on the shipping rates, the freight rates, and also the charter rates. If they can make a profit, then Zim will do well over time. But if they don't, then you can't expect a lot from this company. The market cap may stay around this level for a long time. That's why you have to be aware of this investment. It's a recent IPO. It went public in 2021 when the shipping rates started to go up. And that's why this stock got a lot of attention. But now because they cut their dividend and they no longer have any profits, this company may not be a good investment in the long term. So it's up to you. If you believe in the future of Zim, that they will make some profits in the future, maybe next year, if pay rates go up. But don't forget the risk. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.